So what's going on guys, Ryobox here and welcome back to a brand new episode of the MotoGP 20 career mode and today we'll be heading into the next two rounds which are going to be Spain and then France for the Le Mans GP. At the minute then I've just started the R&D for the engine, we're eight weeks off that which is pretty quick so we should get this KTM developed pretty quickly. Then also two weeks away is the first node on our frame so looking forward to that one coming in. So all hands on deck at the minute. So I've already done qualifying. So let's head down to the grid. But before we do so, I have used the, the mod which changes Marquez to Brado. Hence why Brado is leading the championship. But I'm interested to see how things will change. Will he still lead like Marquez did? Or will he actually be nearer the back like Alex Marquez? But we'll have to wait and see. I've shot up the championship to fifth for KTM. So good results all around. And uh, it is the Patronus Yamaha's pretty much going to be leading. Especially the team rankings. Yeah, Patronus Yamaha leading over the KTM team as well, which is good. We're, we're in second place, which is really good. So let's head down to the grid then for the Href Grand Prix. Right then we're on the grid, I'm going to go for a soft front and a medium rear tyre. Hopefully that will do us good for the race. Um, gone for the aggressive strategy. Could have gone for a hard in the rear, but yeah, bridle on pole. But I mean, I did the qualifying with the old mod. The, the previous version of the mod, which didn't have bridle in it, it had Marquez in. So qualifying was on the previous version, and then I've updated the mod and done the race. Um, so let's see how we get on them. It's great to hear the sound of this KTM roar again. I'm going to go for Power Mode 2 from the launch. And for some reason, my helmet's gone. Don't know why the helmet's gone. Pretty weird. I'll have to sort it out. It's turn number one. Decent run. Whoa! Tito Robot, what is he doing? Being beaten up a little bit at the start of the Grand Prix. Not quite got the grip from the front end. It's the P15 right now. Let's see if we can push on up the grid a little bit. Going for Palmo 2. I want to pick up as many places as possible early on. And Petrucci hitting the deck running wide there. The AI seems to do that at this track, which is really weird. Here we go then on Laquona. Get in on the brakes nicely into the hairpin a little bit wide we run out Vinales there but they Yamaha picking up better traction but as soon as our KTM once it starts getting the power down it's going to pull away Rabat hitting the deck right then good run on Zarco too find ourselves in P10 again struggling with the front end Oh god, what's he doing? Nerfing us out wide again. But struggling with the front end of the bike. Yes, powering around that Ducati. Oh, running wide. So I'm glad I haven't gone for like a medium front tyre. Right then. End of lap number one, battling to get back into the top ten. Gonna have to use some power mode too. But it's Olivero that leads on the Tech 3 KTM. Messed up turn one a little bit. I need to settle into our rhythm. Just about sticking with Nakagami. Desperately trying to go with him. He's got Morbidelli ahead of him, then Valentino Rossi, and then it looks like a Pramac. As well as Quattararo just up the road there. But we've got a good little room here. Bit deep into turn nine though. Bring it around four tenths of Nakagami, so gradually catching up to him now. We've settled a bit in this race, which is good. And here we go up the inside of Nakagami, running wide there. Just struggling in some of these braking zones with the front end. Rossi around the outside of Miller. Miller battling back. They're going to be going side by side down the straight. Surely the Ducati is going to outpower the Yamaha, but Rossi's got the. The inside line this is going to be interesting to turn number one. 39.5 from Oliveira. 40.5 from us. So about a second off of the front runner pace. Pressing on nicely though. Oh, ho, 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 over the bumps there. 
Let's see if we can get past Morbidelli. I'm going to whack it into Palm Mode 2. I'm going to try down this straight. You can see the KTM just closes in the braking zones. Much better top end speed on this bike compared to the Yamaha. Slipstream as well. Like, I don't know what's happened to me helmet. I don't know where it's gone. I'm going to have to reload it in or something. There we go. Into P8. Come on, KTM. Let's chase after the doctor now. Keeping it in power mode, so we're going to use up some of this fuel. Need some performance from the engine, please. Alright, now we're, we're bunched up a little bit here. So we're going to fire, try and negotiate our way through this pack. The KTM, we're building the pace with each lap. So this is good. I'm not going to do anything up the inside. But Rossi's going to come straight back up, yeah. Let's see if we can tuck in this slipstream, get a good run. 39.1 from here. What's our lap time? 140 flat. I'm gonna squeeze Valentino out there. There we go then. Into P7. Looks like Bradle's holding this pack up then. So Bradle doesn't have the pace of Marquez, which is good. And everyone up the road's pulled away, but Bradle's doing us a favour here, keeping them at bay and allowing us to catch up. So Bradle doing us a favour right now. Miller, hoo oh, oh, that was close in the breaking zones. Take a completely different line to the AI through there. The KTM seems to manage the tyres a little bit better than some of the other bikes I've ridden. Especially the Honda. The Honda was crazy. Oh, ho, ho, look how tight that was there in the hairpin. It's coming back alongside as the Ducati power up the inside from Miller. Oh, ho, ho, nice racing. Slight damage there. Just clipped his rear. That's annoying. Really is annoying, but we'll get him back. Oh ho! He's not making it easy for us, is he? Oh ho! More damage. <laughs> We're through for now. And look at the gap form to Quattararo because of that. And I've got damage, which means we may struggle to get by. But I'm bunching behind Brado. Benaya is desperate to get by, but he probably can't get past because that Honda is pretty quick on this game in a straight line. Even though the Ducati is. The Honda is still fairly quick in a straight line, and he's probably going to struggle to get by. Quattararo is just hooked onto the back, but this is our chance to get a few positions. Could even get ourselves a podium here, but Brad will definitely our best friend in this race. Definitely is. We'll probably see him qualify lower down the grid in the next race. But yeah, I've got two. I've got about. I had about a lap of extra fuel, but I've used that up now just to close the gap down get onto the back one let's see if we can pick up a few more positions oh surprise attack on Quattararo he defends well around the outside to take a much wider line but Naya trying to cut it back Bradle holding that inside quite effectively though and he's going to run but Naya out wide there this is interesting to watch this race come on let's go sticking with him Oh, come on, yes, underneath of both of them. Job done there. Fantastic around the outside of Bradle. We're not going to hold it, surely. Surely not. No, he comes back at us. Banaya back through. Quattararo is still there. Here we go then. Up the inside of Banaya. I'm going to get a screenshot for the thumbnail. Come back to the action. Oh, making sure on the brakes nicely and Banaya clipping our rear tyre and out wide we go. That might have cost us a podium here. It's cost Banaya his race. And he was doing pretty well. And I've got to go and give chase now. Mavericks hit the deck. Lots of people hitting the deck. Crazy, crazy stuff. We've got a little bit of fuel. I'm going to use it, but Quattararo's caught right up to Bradle again. Bradle was going so slow in this race. He has absolutely no pace, but he's holding that line. But that has proved really costly. 
see if we can get Quattararo come the end of the race. The KTM looks after the fuel well, which means I can use probably use Palmo 2 to the end, so I'm going to do it. Question is, do I have enough speed to close the gap? Because if we can get onto the back of Quattararo, oh, oh, look at them. They're battling, they're battling, and this battling could give us a chance at a podium. Quattararo around the outside of Brado there. Quattararo for the last step of the podium. Come on, come on. I don't think I'll get Quattararo. We can go for Bradle though. Come on for P4. Whoa! <laughs> Crazy avoiding action there. Get around the final corner. Nicely out of there. Bottom gear corner. Bradle's coming back though. Where's he got this speed from? Who's going to get it? <laughs> Who got, who got fourth place? Yes, we did, we did. Fantastic. So Mir taking the win from Oliveira, Guattarara, and then us. Pretty crazy race. I'm going to scroll down so you can see the order. Looking pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I'm liking this mod already. In terms of the team, the Riders Championship then, we jump up another place. Guattarara just seven points off of Morbidelli. Mir shooting up. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see who wins this season. But Patronus Yamaha leading over Suzuki. Suzuki are going to be strong. You know they're going to be strong. But Yamaha leading the constructors then. From Honda then KTM. So we're right up there. We're right up there. We're going to have a right mixed bag of results. So it's going to be interesting this season. It really is. Get that money in the bank. And let's skip on a little bit then. So we've got our new frame part. We've got our engine part on the way. It's now time to get people back on frame development. So let's do that. We're going to keep upgrading the frame because the front end doesn't feel great. <laughs> but uh, we're working on it. We're really working on it. There we go. Right. So we should be able to start the next node fairly soon. Better distance. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to save up some points for now. But let's head into the Le Mans Grand Prix then. See how we get on. See who qualifies where. It's going to be an interesting one. Right then, so we're going to go out at the end of session. Rins is currently leading from Vinales, Nakagami, Benaya, Mir and Rossi. So let's head down to the grid then. See how we get on in this qualifying two. The half of the lap were four tenths off, but I found in qualifying one that our sector three... And Sexta 4 were way quicker than the AI. So we might be able to get onto the front two rows, hopefully. Let's ride on board and see how we get on. Pushing it into the chicane. Messed up a little bit through there. I just haven't got the agility from the front end that I was hoping for. We've closed the gap right down to about two tenths. Last corner to go then. Blast out the final corner. What's it going to be? 32.3. Just half a tenth off. And that's P3 for us in qualifying. I'm not going to go again. That's going to end it for us. So front row then. Just behind Rins and Vinales. On the second row we've got Nakagami, Benaya and Mir. Where's Quattararo then? A little bit further back from the Patronus Yamaha. So obviously struggling around here. But let's see how we get on the race then. I need to decide what tyres to go for. I'm going to go aggressive again. I'm really struggling with the front end. So it's going to be a soft front, medium rear. A lap of extra fuel. And let's just go for it. Let's see what we can do from the front row of the grid. Same tyre setup from both Suzuki's. So that's going to be interesting. Same for Quattararo. Lights are about to go out then. We've got the inside line. We're going to have a fast launch in Ducati. Here he comes already. Oh, the wheelie from the KTM. Thank you very much for that. I need to get our electronics upgraded a little bit. But it's turn two. Covering off Mir. But Nakagami going around the outside. Which will become the inside into turn three. We've ran it deep. But again we'll get that inside line for turn four. Crazy stuff. But Valentino Rossi. Let's fend him off. And we only lose one position off of the start. I will take that. Not a bad start at all. Oh there he is. The more agile Yamaha. Oh, Valentino, he's still there. <laughs> Scared me, I went out wide. 
But anyway, in fourth place, we only lose one position off the launch, but it's Rin's leading from Maverick from Nakagami. Quick start from Nakagami. Decent from us. So let's see <clears throat> where we can go from here. It's nice to not have Marquez lead <laughs> from the front. Trying to get under Nakagami if we can. Let's go. Palmo 2. Ah, oh, that was awful. That really has cost us time. Huge wheelie. I tried to short shift to get the front end down, but it just didn't work at all. Bit deep into turn 2. We can line it up nicely then for the chicane at the top of the hill. Just haven't got that agility from the front end. I keep saying it, but it's just a bit slow. Oh dear, running deep into turn six. Rossi's bike turns well. Oh, this feels a bit rigid. Decent on the brakes in turn seven. The Suzuki seems to be the bike to be. <laughs> seems to be the bike you want. Bit deep there. Get away with it. Alright, everyone's queuing behind. Around the outside, nicely does it. Bit of a block pass around the outside. Oh, he comes back at us. <laughs> See what I mean? I can't get the agility from the KTM. Going back up the inside. Oh, ho, ho, again blocking him off. But I just can't hold the apex. Haven't got much mid corner grip. Here's the final two corners then. Rins pulling away with it. Absolutely crazy stuff. 33-4 from Rins. A whole second quicker than us on that lap. Obviously we were battling with Nakagami a bit. Oh, Vinyala's a bit slow up the hill there. Oh, ho, ho, having to watch out for his rear tyre. Rins pulling away. <laughs> He's taken the spirit of Marquez. <laughs> it should be Mir, if anyone. Let's see. We should have plenty of tyres to go for the race. But let's see. I'm sort of interested to see if I get past Vinales, do I have the pace to chase back after Rins? Because Rins is pulling away at a rate of knots. Here we go up the inside of the Yamaha. We're on Vinales. What's the gap now? to Rins. Can I close this gap? To oh my god. So deep. Three seconds. Well, I'm going to go for a lap of power mode two. Just see if I can use the tools that we have to try and close down the Suzuki man. Obviously, we're trying to defend our championship with KTM. Which is going to be tough, but we've had a good start to the season. Which will help 33.3, 33.5, and that was with a bit of a battle too. So, a lap of power mode two. Let's see if we can close him down. 3.2 is the gap as we cross the line. See what it is through the first sector. Like I said in qualifying, we're faster in the second half of the lap. So, it's all about what the time is as we cross the line at the end of this lap more than anything. Although I've closed him down, but I've run very deep. Which isn't good. <laughs> really not good. All about net time gained over the lap. So this is the important one. 33-1. Wow. 33-1 from us as well. So 3.2 seconds. Again, we match times. I have had to turn the engine down. But let's see. Again, what we can do on this lap. We've got three laps. So if I can find a second a lap, we might catch him. Zarko's hit the deck. But if I keep the pressure on... Maybe he'll make a mistake. Quattararo's hit the deck. So both Frenchmen hitting the deck here at their home Grand Prix. But did they collide? <laughs> oh, come on. Got no grip at the front end. Just about hook up turn seven nicely there. wonder what the gap is. 3.7. Rins has found another gear. I haven't. 
<laughs> I just run it deep. I have no confidence on the brakes on the front end. No confidence in the front end on this bike. None. <laughs> Absolutely none. Works in this third sector. This chicane here is where we really do gain a bit of time on the AI, but again, the front end. Got to watch out for Nakagami. Still got two laps to go. Still got two laps to go. It's all about consolidating the second place then. Suzuki are the team on the charge at the minute. Thirty-two point eight from Rins, thirty-three point nine. Yeah, he's pulling away like mad, riding like a madman. I'm gonna save some power mode too in case I need to defend, because I don't know what's going on, but sort of struggling to find some pace. And Nakagami's closing us in. Oh, <laughs> just trying to push it down the hill. Should have enough fuel to go to the end. Got to monitor the gap behind. What is it? 4.5 ahead. 1.6 behind. It seems to have run out of tyre performance or something. I don't know. Don't know what's going on. He's there and Rossi's behind him. But again... This is the sector where we're all right. I say that. <laughs> I picked up a huge penalty. It's okay. It shouldn't affect us. Bit of understeer from the bike right now. Get it around these final corners, and we've got one whoa, very slidey at the rear. Struggling through the right hand is 32.7, 32.8 from us, so a better lap. Despite the struggles, 32.6 from Aspargo, everyone's up their pace. It's the fuel loads dropped. Come on, we've got to watch out for Nakagami, although he's dropping off a bit now. No, he's not. He's very much still there. 4.9 is they got 1.6 still. To Nakagami, so we should be all right. Just gotta keep the thing in line. Keep it in line, and we should be all right. About half a lap to go, almost. Plenty of fuel in the bag too. Five second lead from Rins, absolutely dominating today. Bit of Palmo too, because we got plenty of fuel. Still there, poles there as well. Nice, he does it through the chicane. 5.2. Still, the gap is 1.6. We've pushed our rear tire a little bit in this last sector, but we should be all right. One more corner to go then. Blast for the line for the final time. Riz takes the win. Absolute domination from the Suzuki rider. We take P2, which is good for our championship. Getting ourselves back up there. So that's good. Take a look at the results then. Just going to flick down. Anyone stand out? Vignal is only 11th. Better race on Crutchlow. Bradl 15th. Quattararo didn't classify again. Obviously that crash. So in the championship then, Rins leads with 66 points. We have 64 points, just two points off. Bradle goes backwards, obviously we'll see him slip down the order now. He's just four points off, but really it's Quattararo and Morbidelli we need to worry about. They were pretty non-existent today. Uh, Mears didn't have a great race either. Decent one though. So yeah, recovery is on. We're well in the fight with the championship with this very mixed up AI crazy 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 season of career mode but yeah suzuki taking the lead then trying yamaha dropping it's all very close but that has been it for today's episode i hope you have enjoyed if you did remember to smash the like button share it around with your friends 
and do not forget to subscribe for more. So we'll see you in the next one.